Hi there. Welcome to Jeannie's Guitar Class. I'm Jeannie Carter, and today we're going to expand on the easy lesson using the G major scale by learning more of the easy guitar run using the G major scale. We'll also continue our practice with hammer-ons and pull-offs. So grab your guitar and let's get at it. Make sure your guitar is in tune and is tuned to standard 440 tuning. If you don't know about the G major scale, please watch my Genie's Guitar Class Learning the G Major Scale, and if you haven't watched my Easy Lesson Using the G Major Scale, make sure you watch those videos before working with this lesson. This G guitar run will continue in the bluegrass style of music. So let me give you a demonstration of the goal we are working for. Okay, let's work with this together. Place your third finger on the fifth string, third fret, and pick only that string with a downstroke like this. Now what we will do is play the fourth string open with a downstroke, and then hammer on the first and second frets using the first and second fingers like this. What we are doing here is picking a downstroke on the open fourth string and hitting or hammering the first finger on the first fret and then immediately after that hammering the second finger on the second fret without picking the string other than the open fourth string note we played. Make sure you don't release pressure on the string when you hammer on or your string will die out. I'm going to play these hammer-ons again, and I want you to watch my fingers as I play. Now, I will play these same hammer-ons again, but I want you to watch my pick hand this time. Notice how I only play this string once, but get three notes out of it by playing the hammer-ons. Make sure you strike or hammer on hard enough to make sound and be sure not to release pressure on the string once you strike the note. If you release pressure, you will deaden out the ring of the string. Okay, let's try only the fourth string hammer-ons together. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Let's try to play from the beginning with the fifth string note you played earlier and add the fourth string notes. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Great job. Now, let's add the third string notes to the mix. We will use hammer-ons and a pull-off here. Watch as I demonstrate. Notice I only picked the third string once, but there were three sounds. What we will do here is use the second finger to hammer on and then pull off the third string second fret. Watch once more as I demonstrate. Remember, to do a pull off, you are basically flicking the string as you release your finger from the string. Let's try the third string hammer on and pull offs together. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Okay, let's try to put all this together from the beginning to the third string notes. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. The only thing we have left to play in this run is to place the first finger on the second string, first fret, and pick only that string with a downstroke. 
Now, listen again as I demonstrate how this run will sound from the beginning all the way through. Okay, let's try it together. All the way from the beginning to the end. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Notice how that other than one lead-in note, which was the fourth string first fret note, all these notes are in the G major scale. This is a very easy run to practice your G major scale with. Next week, we will work on learning a bluegrass style picking song using these G guitar runs, so make sure to check it out. Until then, keep practicing this G run along with the first part of the G run we learned in the Jenny's Guitar Class Easy Lesson Using the G Major Scale Part 1 last week until you can recognize the G major scale in these runs and until you can get great sounding hammer-ons and pull-offs. All right, this concludes our lesson on part two of working with the G major scale and learning about hammer-ons and pull-offs. As always, make sure to get at least 30 minutes of practice in each day and you'll soon see great improvement in your guitar playing. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you'd like to see more of Jenny's Guitar Class videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.